Today we're going to show you the proper way to use and tow with a sling unit. Now what you want to do is get this bottom sling bar as far under the vehicle as you possibly can get it. Yeah. Next thing you're going to do, get your J-hook hooked around the axle or the frame of the vehicle or the lower control arm on front wheel drive vehicles. That way it's on a good... Then you're going to take your chain, pull the slack as much as you can get it, hook it into your bottom hook here. You want to wrap your chain around that hook so that the chain does not pop out of the hook. Take your excess chain, run it up to your top hook here, as tight as you can get it. In case you have a sling strap failure or anything else, it's going to keep you from losing the vehicle and dropping it on the ground. Take the rest of your chain. Next step, this is the most important step towing a vehicle with a sling unit. You're going to get in your truck that you're towing with, pull the truck forward, get this slack out of your chains. That way when you lift the vehicle up, these sling straps are not going to be sliding on the bumper and damaging the vehicle. got the truck hook, see your chain's nice and tight. Didn't slide on the bumper of your vehicle you're towing, you're ready to go. Next step, you got to get your safety chains on. Another key thing with our unit, we put in a, po a point for you to hook up safety chains. Hooking up a safety chain, you want to get it hooked to a good solid part on the truck, whether it be the frame, the rear axle, somewhere good and solid because if God forbid you ever have to use these safety chains, you want them to hold and you want it to stay on there and not lose the car and kill somebody. So it's not dragging on the ground and it's not going to bind up when you turn your corner. Get your chain hooked into your slot right like this. Take your, take your excess chain, lay it in the bed. Be sure that you got enough slack because when you turn the corner, it will tighten these chains up. So you want to have enough slack that it's not going to break or bust anything when you turn corners. On our unit, which differs from a lot of other sling units, we put a one inch plate of steel on an angle across the back and flat on the bottom at your lift point where all your weight is going. Now if you don't do that, it bellies it, it bends it, and you damage your unit, you damage the bed on your truck. Our unit will never bend like the other units will. Another nice thing about our unit is we put two shocks on it. Now when you unfold it and fold it up at night, you're not waking the neighbors. It folds nice and clean, nice and easy. No slamming, banging, like a lot of the other typical slinging. 